Hello and welcome to another edition of An English Guy Watching Wrestling. I'm the English Guy, I'm Nick. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. I really do appreciate it. And in this one, we're going to be covering the Impact TV episode from 2nd of March 2021. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. Opening match was a number one contenders match for the X Division Championship between Chris Bay, Ace Austin, and Black Tarus. Now, I've got to say, I was looking forward to this match when it was really between two heels and a face. So, it's you, I, there you go. <laughs> I think it's better. Anyway. <laughs> but um, this was actually a very good opening match, to be fair. And the X Division has always been a beacon of light in what's been a very, very good year for Impact Wrestling so far. And this was another great match to, to top it off. And Black Tarus, I think, could be an MVP of the X Division if he keeps on doing what he's doing. The guy is incredibly powerful. <laughs> But also incredibly agile. Of course, being a Lucha, being part of the Lucha Libre tradition. I'm not sure which uh, Mexican promotion he wrestled for. It was one of the big ones. I'm not sure if it's CMLL or AAA. But that being said, he is a great, great, great addition to the exhibition. And this was a great opening match. And it was interesting to see Ace Austin win, considering he has the tournament cup that was held not too long ago, which I think guaranteed a shot at the exhibition championship. But that being said... Ace Austin did win the match in a very, very good match. So it will be him versus TJP at the next pay-per-view. And it's going to be interesting. I mean, I love Ace Austin. I love all three of these guys. They're really good. So I really hope to see a great match between him and TJP. And I think it will be. So thumbs up to all three guys for putting a really good stamp on what has been a good year for the exhibition so far. So well done. Next match. What's oh, right? <laughs> was Tenille Dashwood versus Havoc. Now, this was a bit of an interesting one. Because... Tenille Dashwood has kind of had little issues with Havoc and Nevaeh. And, you know, she beat Nevaeh recently. And it was kind of cool to see Havoc get a singles match. Not many, not very often you see that in, in Impact Wrestling. But that being said, this was a very good women's division match. Again, another thing that's been very good in Impact Wrestling this year has been the women's division. This was no exception. This was a very good match between two very talented female wrestlers. And really cool to see Havoc get the win because I was half expecting Tenille to get the win. Not so much the case here. And after the match, Tinoa Dashwood was so my apologies, the Vayne came out <laughs> to like reunite with Havoc. So it's kind of cool to see him back on the same page after there was been a little bit of a dispute between the two. But it obviously <clears throat> it was great to see Havoc get a singles match for once, which is always a good thing. So thumbs up to both ladies. Both ladies. A little bit of a tongue time myself here again. <laughs> <clears throat> Next match was the Good Brothers teaming up with Finn Juice to take on Triple XL and Rio Scum. And this was a very unique match because it was more of a storytelling match of Finn Drews and the Good Brothers being on the same team, despite the fact in recent weeks Finn Drews have been kind of insulting the Good Brothers because obviously Good Brothers, New Japan veterans in back in the day. Finn Drews were also part of New Japan. And so, so I'm trying to think who are the best tag team of that era that are no longer in New Japan. But having said that, Finn Drews are still in New Japan. Good Brothers are not. But it was interesting to see that kind of like storytelling in this match between all four men. And it was very, very cool. And it's cool to see the Finjus will get a tag team title shot in the next pay-per-view. <clears throat> which is in, not this weekend, the weekend after, I think. So it's going to be interesting to see that. This is a very unique tag match. Which told the story of one side. And Triple XL and Reno Scum. I do like both teams. It, they were there to help tell the story for Finjus and Good Brothers. Which is always fine. And this was a good tag match, so well done to all eight men involved. Oh, phone's there. There, there we go. I my phone to turn the train. Next match was Brian Myers versus Eddie Edwards with Matt Cardona as the special guest referee. Continuing the little feud that Brian Myers has going on with Matt Cardona, obviously, both known each other for many, many years in the wrestling business. Matt Cardona, special guest referee, after Brian Myers saying that he shouldn't be part of the company. It was kind of a, a very unique situation to see, but I enjoyed this match to be fair. And Eddie Edwards is as reliable as they come in Impact Wrestling. I think he's like the soul of MVP right now. And it was a good match. I enjoyed this one. And very interesting to see, obviously, Brian Myers cheating very, 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 very blatantly in front of Matt Cardona. Matt Cardona refused to count the pinfall. I liked that. A very, very, very unique touch in a match like this. And... It was a fun match to be fair, and I wouldn't mind seeing these kind of things between Matt Cardone and Brian Myers continue because it's been entertaining. So, thumbs up to all three men involved in this one. So, what up? This match was the main event, and 
very, very cool to see the impact women in the main event. It was Kira Hogan versus Jordan Grace versus Diana Parato. And I said, it I said it before that the Impact Women's Division this year has been superb. This was a cracking main event, to be fair. All three women just showed so well why they're good at what they do and their own particular styles, what they're being on. I see Diana Parato perhaps being the best technical female wrestler in the world right now. Jordan Grace, big powerhouse, you know, she, she is. And Kira Hogan, more of a, I'd say, a hit and run kind of wrestler, but she's also got high impact moves herself, so she's she could really do some cool stuff. But this was a very, very, very good main event, to be fair. I really enjoyed this match, and it showed triple threat matches in, in, in women's division, which you don't really see that often, to be completely honest. And I enjoyed this one, ignore that. <laughs> a little beep in the background, but that's fine. But I really enjoyed this match, and this was a very, very worthy main event. All three women take a bow, so I can say you did fantastic in this match. And I'm going to say it now, I'd love to see more triple threat matches in the women's division in Impact Wrestling because if they can do that, then they're going to keep on doing great things. And this was definitely no exception. It was fantastic. So definite thumbs up to all three women involved in this match. It was a superb match. And top to off, what was actually a very good episode of Impact this week. Again, Impact Wrestling this year has been going from strength to strength, and it continues to do so. So definitely... Thumbs up again to everyone involved. And that is it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you next time. But until that time, take care, everyone.